Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We got a update on Mer Stumps. Dad's 12 valve build. He's up here again. We got it on the dyno. Um, for those of you guys that don't remember, Meyer's gonna go over the details on what's done to this pig, just to refresh your memory. But we're finally have it on the dyno and see what it does. What do we got? So it's it's just a it's just a 12 valve. We put a 6.7 crank in it, so it's a six one stroker. We did main bolts, rod bolts, uh, 178-208. Uh, PDD push rods, just 60 pound valve springs, valve springs with the chromoly locks and retainers. Um, we've got, it's firing right now. We got HE351 with a 67 turbine um, over a S472, so it's a 7287 with a 110 housing. Um, just a bunch of other stuff. We got 5x14s in there right now with some pump work. Um, 180, 215, what kind of It's pump? a 215 pump. We okay. put it on the bench. It's right now, it's doing about 500 ish, 525 cc's. Um, we took it for a rip on the street and it's just, it's, it comes on pretty good. Like it's almost smoke free. It's like, it's so far so good. We're gonna put it on the dyno and we're gonna see how much power that actually is. So far we hit, we did peak recall on the gauge. We've smacked um, 67 pounds of boost and- Coincidence, I think not. <laughs> and a thousand uh, EGTs. Yeah. So one cool thing I wanna highlight, Meyer is all about the budget build, uh, similar to how I was a few years ago. Um, he double stacked two factory transmission coolers. It is such a cool idea. I'm kind of jealous that I never have thought of that before. And then check out this. He machined this all by hand on our Bridgeport mill out of some aluminum uh, flat stock, or I guess this would be bar stock. Um, he did that by himself. He did all the compound fab, all the engine painting and stuff. It looks fantastic. And then Mer, we gotta show off the the, the, the pop of stump 9000. The only way to have an automatic yeah. transmission. So we got the full manual valve body in there with a BM shifter with the switches. This thing, like I've heard it start. Uh, you guys have heard it start. It is pretty good um, on the startup. I'm not gonna lie, I, I, it fires right it up. Starts right up. Yeah. So we're gonna get this thing strapped down. Um, the other thing we're gonna do is put some 625s in it, I, yeah. I believe. So out of coincidence, he, well, I've been playing with Papa Stump's truck. He has been taking Toe Nasty, my old 96. And last night he was gonna take it up here. Um, but he's like, oh, there's a little blow come from your coolant reservoir. I'm like, ah, perfect. So like in light of that, we're like, you know what? Let's just bump this thing up to 625 so you know we don't have any issues. I'm sure that that happened because the head wasn't flat or something like that. But and by the way, for those of you guys that don't know, this is Meyer's dad, known as Papa Stump. Papa Stump, yeah. so Papa Stump himself. Yeah, or sir, your choice. Yeah, uh, right. he's got a he's got a heck of a grip on his hand so I, I wouldn't challenge the man okay so first thing we're gonna do is do a sustained load on the dyno basically just get the truck really hot and then we're gonna swap the arp 2000s out for the 625s one at a time make sure we get a good crush on that firing and then we'll do some dyno pulls
All right, so you guys saw all that dyno pulling. Um, again, that was constant load, about 450, 500 horsepower, about 40 pounds of boost. EGTs never went above 1250. Uh, that's as hard as this dyno will load. It did it great um, for a 12 valve. That was that little light haze. That is beautiful. Like that is how they should run. Um, very clean. Meyer should be really proud of himself. He's doing the 625 swap. We got them all laid out. I always, like I said before, count the parts as you lube them up and we'll get to swapping those one by one and then we'll put some power into her. Got the hot swap going on, 625s going in. Get those torqued. Once this is done, still on the dyno. Then we're gonna make some power, right, Mer? Or at least Don't torque. Blow. Confident. So the 625s are swapped over, just a quick valve lash, and put it back together, and then it'll be ready to rip. All right, so we're gonna warm it up a little bit, yeah. and then rip it. So it did 660 horsepower, 1570 something foot pounds of torque. Those are really good numbers for, I mean, 5x14s with some Oats 55 DVs and a hot rod lift pump. So now what we're gonna do is just run it one more time, validate the test. And uh, I'll tell you what, it sounds really good. We'll go over the graph here in a minute. All right, so change plans. We're gonna go ahead and slide an adjustable wastegate elbow into this. That way we can tweak it, maybe get the torque to come in a little bit sooner, maybe make a little bit more power, um, and then we will rerun it on the dyno. All right, so we need an interview with the co-driver. How was your experience on a scale of 1 to 10? Was it good <laughs> or bad? Yeah. Good? Did you like it? Yeah. Who's the better driver, me or Meyer? Meyer. Meyer? No. Me? No. Who's better, me or, me or, da or Daddy or Meyer? Meyer. What? Hey, it looks like you just got child support. <laughs> Dang. Dang. Was it fun though? Yeah. Yeah, are you having a good time here? No. You want to no. say hi to everybody that watches this? No. No? All right, fine. Cold shoulder, dude. He ain't about it. Dang, but checking yourself out in the mirror, huh? So Meyer, run us through peak boost. Um, I didn't actually record them, but um, it was like 67, so I saw. Oh, I just, how uh, that work? I think you just cleared it. I think I did. Oh, there you go, okay, 67, so 67. And, and a half. And this one was at actually like 1600. Yeah. 1600 degrees EGT, not bad. Oh, that's a long pull. Yeah, that was really smoky, so. Yeah. Gotta do some, some tuning. Okay, so here's our two two graphs. Uh, the faded line, this lighter line, is going to be the uh, first run. The darker line is going to be the second run. You guys can see peak horsepower, peak torque, 
very similar as far as time goes. And then if you look at it over engine speed, also very similar. Uh, what's really cool about this setup is it definitely holds the horsepower. I mean, he's still over 600 horsepower at 3000 RPM. So there is a 800 RPM window where he is over 600 horse. It's making torque really low. This is a pretty sweet setup. Um, definitely a little bit of smoke. Meyer is going to tune the wastegate. And so we're leaving off with Papa Stump's truck, 650, 660 horsepower, well over 1,550 foot pounds of torque. Um, it sounds good. It is a little smoky. I only put that clip in there for you guys, just so you see where we start versus where we end. Obviously we, I mean, this has nothing to do with the current emissions climate or anything like that. Meyer and I really do try to make our trucks as clean as possible with a bunch of horsepower. Um, and neither one of us thought that that was acceptable. Neither did Papa Stump. So we are gonna get some uh, retunes in there, tweak with the gate, play with the timing, fuel pressure. There's a lot you can do on a 12 valve to clean it up. But I just, I wanna make sure you guys get it that we are not satisfied with the cleanliness of that setup. I will say, I'll get you some street footage. It has never been that smoky. If you look at most of our trucks on the dyno, they are quite smoky compared to how they perform on the street. I think a lot of that has to do with just being strapped on the dyno, lack of airflow, things of that nature. So again, I just wanted to touch on that, let you guys know we're not planning on just sending that down the road with how dirty it is. We are gonna improve on it. Either way, Meyer did a great job on the trans, great job on the engine, turbos. Um, his dad is very proud, but definitely much appreciated um, letting us film that get the content for you guys hopefully you enjoyed it again we'll try to do one more video on this maybe a towing driving simulation but all in all the egt's look great the boost is really low for the power it's making very drivable good power it's making peak torque peak horsepower in a usable range all in all that thing rips i'm happy to film it meyer should be damn proud of that build he did and papa stump is going to have one heck of a ride when it's done hopefully you guys like this video Drop a comment down below and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you on the next one.